Okay. Here we are in the hay barn, obviously. There's hay sitting everywhere. But uh, I wanted to show y'all what I got here. This is basically, I'm done with first cutting. And this isn't all the hay that I cut. This isn't all the hay that I had here in first cutting because I've sold a lot of it. Um, I'm trying to think how many bales I've sold. Hmm. I can't even remember. 245. That's uh, 500. I've sold about eight or 900 bales at least. So, uh, but this is what I've still got in stock here. This is one layer deep from the uh, back of the barn. This is two layers deep. And what I mean by layer, this, this would be a, a layer. And that's about eight foot right there. So this is eight foot out, stacked out from the wall. This is 16 foot stacked out from the wall. And they're stacked nine high. So if you're looking at a at a stack, these things, the way you stack them with this accumulator, it makes it so easy to count because right here is a stack and this is a, a nine high and there's nine, uh, 10 bales in each pack. So there's 90 bales right there. That's 90 bales. Hold on, I got a phone. Okay, so each one of these stacks, and this is 90 bales, like I just said. I'm back from off the phone, by the way, obviously. So you got 90 bales, 90 bales, 90 bales, 90 bales, 90 bales, and, you know, and so on. So it's really easy to count. So like this one, if you want to know how many bales is in this stack right here, you just go 10, 20, 30, 40 bales right here in this just this stack so and that's because there's 10 bales in each one of these packs of bales that are picked up by the grapple you got you got two tie bales turned end ways and then you got eight bales one two three four five six seven eight you got eight bales turned long ways so it makes 10 bales and uh but anyway, um, I don't exactly, I didn't count how many bales was left in here, but I bailed approximately uh, 3,200 bales for first cutting of on uh, square hay. And then I had another uh, 200, close to, it wasn't quite 200 round bales. And... Uh, Compared to last year, it's about the same. Maybe it is actually it was just a little bit more than I did last year off the same land. So uh, my land is still increasing. The more fertilizer and stuff I keep adding to it each year. So and lime, I'm good on lime right now. My pH is good according to soil samples. But uh, I'm happy with what I got because it's in line with uh, last year a little better. Um, so. But I just got done doing some second cutting hay off of my alfalfa field, uh, which is almost no longer an alfalfa field. Unfortunately, the alfalfa is about eight years old, seven or eight years old, and it's trying to it's trying to die on me. And I've been putting the potash to it, boron. I've and this just, just uh, been getting manure from the dairy, liquid manure. I got a video on that. Uh, I put a bunch of that on it. The alfalfa is just giving up on me now. The rest of the hay is still orchard grass and timothy. No fescue in this hay. Only well, it, if if there is any fescue in this hay, it migrated there, and it's just very very little bit of it. And uh, so it's a ten acre field. I got eight hundred and sixty five bales off first cutting in that field. I made a video of cutting that field. Uh, this is what I got on second cutting in the same field. There's 200 bales on this hay wagon right here, and there's 36 bales sitting right here. Uh, so I got 236 bales. And 
that is not too bad because typically it's only been like 38 days since it was mowed for first cutting. Typically alfalfa you can mow about every 30 days if the weather will let you mow it at 30 days and it'll turn off good but where it doesn't have any alfalfa in it much anymore I mean it's it's maybe down to like 10 percent alfalfa you know the alfalfa <laughs> is just not turned off much so I'm relying on timothy and orchard grass timothy and orchard grass takes longer than 38 days to to grow to something substantial that'll make a, a lot of bales so I thought it for such young timothy and orchard grass it turned off pretty good and I'm happy with it so and it's really really tender smells really really good so it'll be some good hay and it's really green it looks really good um, but anyway that's an update on the hay situation um, there's some straw over here that we just brought in from Stella Virginia and I bailed this straw um, one of them one of the nets up there is busted a little bit on that one I got a little rough with it putting it in here apparently because it wasn't like it when I left with the baler down at the job but uh it's 25 bales sitting right here of wheat straw that I bailed and uh, we'll use that in our straw blower but this this right here it was completely stacked up nine high all the way to here and I loaded out a load at the beginning of the of the week and and uh, that was one load out of here 245 bales so uh, but yeah the hay season's going good I haven't got any hay rained on which is really good um, I'm really grateful for that blessed and uh, this hay right here I was actually going to bale today but I ended up bailing it yesterday it was down to about 18 to 20 percent moisture and I uh, went ahead and I sprayed it with four pounds uh, to the ton of crop care and uh, it really makes nice hay I'll tell you that so I haven't sold any of it with crop care on it yet but I have done some test feeding on my own to some cows and the cows just love it the cows eat it up so I just wanted to see if they would even eat hay with this preservative on it, but it looks like they love it. Even the calves are eating it. Yeah, they're all coming down. That's awesome. Well, that was some good hay, though. It was just a little bit damp, so I had to spray it. So, uh, I don't really think it's going to be any trouble with horses. I know it, won't, it ain't going to hurt the horses. And it ain't going to hurt the cows. It's, you know, it's designed to be digestible. So, I don't think there's going to be an issue. Um, but we'll find out, and I'll let you know. Uh, but I'm glad I did get it up yesterday because look out here. Look out here at the sky today it's uh and it's thundering it's getting ready to rain 
and the hay field I mowed this hay out of is right up there. So, and it's actually already rained about less than a tenth of an inch this evening, but it did rain, it would have slowed me down. I'd have been freaking out right now trying to get this hay up. And then you look at these clouds, it ain't gonna let me, it wouldn't have let me get it up today. So I'm really glad that I had the crop saver and was able to bale it yesterday at a little bit high moisture, even though it was high moisture. The bales are about 65 pounds, so they're a little heavier. They're, they're normally about 55, 55 to 60-ish. These are 65 ish to 70. But uh, the bales that I opened up were the same moisture. I put used the same rate. And the ones I fed to those cows were just as green and beautiful and smelled good on the inside as the day that I felt it. I mean, it was it was really nice hay that I fed to those cows, and they they were just eating it up. So, all right, that's a hay update. We'll see y'all later.